After seeing the abysmal turnout at DDO, we need to talk about whether this tournament should even exist on the tour. Now it was by no means a bad event. There were so many compelling things going on and honestly great disc golf. But if you were there in person, there was a lot of testimonials saying that nobody was there. Ticket sales had to be very, very low. And with extremely high ticket prices, I think there's definitely a very weird situation where Emporia TDs or whoever is setting this price are determining that the price of an Elite Series event in Emporia is much, much higher than what the market actually thinks it is. This is definitely true for what I consider to be the worst event on the tour with maybe the exception of LVC or another golf course. There really is just no other event that I am less excited for than the DDO, and I think that is very evidenced by a very bad turnout and a very bad location. I am from Kansas, I have been to Emporia countless times, I know the area decently well, and me and people around me are definitely never excited to drive to Emporia. I love playing tournaments at Emporia, that's for sure. I love actually the amateur scene. It is phenomenal, one of the best, but everything else around it is just kind of meh. I can certainly see why they changed it such that the amateurs are not playing the same weekend. That was probably just a lot of traffic and a lot of headaches that they had to deal with, but really losing that core audience and seeing that it was on Father's Day. And then to cap it all off, there is also another event in the Kansas area that is within an hour away from Emporia in like a couple weeks, the Kansas City Wide Open. So if you are living in the Kansas City area, you are very unlikely to purchase or to even even venture out to Emporia because you know that you have a great event in the Kansas City Wide Open and there's just so few incentives to really drive all the way to Emporia. And if that is true for a Kansas City person, then who else would come to this event? I think I think pros see this event as kind of just like one that you have to get through. It's not really that impressive. It's whatever. And there's just so few positive factors going towards it. You do have the home of Dynamic Disc, which is cool and all, but that is not why people are playing disc golf. They don't fly to Discmania's headquarters because it's like a cool spot. Like that's not a thing. And so while I do think Emporia is great for an amateur scene, amateur tournaments. It is just not a great place for the pro tournament and definitely not a good place for Worlds. I was at Worlds last year in DDO in 2021 and both times I felt like I could just walk up to a player because there was just so few players there, which is cool for a spectator. Like, yeah, it's great that I get to like walk up to Kevin Jones and be like, hey, what's up, man? Like that, that round was sick. How are you doing? But that is just not what you want as like the entire collective of the disc golf fan base. And when you're charging excessive rates for even general admission, then it's just really going to hurt everybody involved in the event. And so while I do think Emporia has had a great historical run of disc golf events and they've had great stuff happen there, you have that eagle throw in, get some great stuff with the Gossage versus Macbeth battle. That was sick. But overall, I think the time has just run its course. They tried to make the Supreme layout a thing. It just didn't quite pan out. And I think that is just ultimately due to the fact that the courses are just not that cool to watch. And if they're not cool to watch, then viewers and players are just not really going to engage with it nearly as much as they would another course. And so while it is sad to say, I do think that it is probably best for them to move towards Silver Series or to a more bi-yearly basis where you can still get that fresh feel of a course, but not be forced to play a tournament that just doesn't really excite that many people. And I think speaking as somebody that is in the area, plays Emporia events probably like five, six times a year, I feel pretty educated on the matter. And honestly, I have no qualms with the amateur scene. It's been great. I love it. But we really have to evaluate the value that it has on tour and especially in comparison to other events on the tour that have a much, much cheaper rate for all three days. Or in the case of Worlds, there was a very weird situation where day rate was kind of like a convoluted thing that was really hard to understand. And I think there really is value in at least thinking about the idea of having a free or very low cost general admission. You can have VIP tickets that are still a very premium rate, high cost, but allow the masses to enjoy the sport because that is truly where I I think you can still make a good amount of money, but still attract a good amount of people to the event that it actually feels like a true sporting event and not just some like weird B tier that is being televised. And if you do this, you also allow yourself to have a lot more opportunities to sell at the event. I saw so many stalls, pretty much every event I've been to. And if you're the Disc Golf Pro Tour, you are selling so much merch there. And I guarantee a lot of people will be buying that stuff if you do have a very low cost admission. Whereas if you're selling tickets at a high price, you have to deal with a lot more gripes from the consumer. And that is definitely Definitely not something that I think the Pro Tour is really wanting to deal with right now. They already have a lot of uh, negative things going towards them on live coverage. So to make the live experience worse, is just not a good scene. And I think they really have to back off that stance. And I also want to know that I'm somebody that loves live events. I have really enjoyed every event I've been to. It has been awesome. But even though I'm one hour away from Emporia, I was basically never even thinking about going, hearing how expensive the tickets were, knowing that I had family commitments with Father's Day, and also feeling a little bit burnt out with Emporia events because I've seen so much of the pros play there. 
I just never even considered it really an option. Whereas the Kansas City Wide Open, I am so, so excited to go to, and I cannot wait to see them tread that course because it is a much, much more engaging event. And I think there is a lot more interesting shot shapes at that course. Whereas the Emporia Country Club is just not that for me. I think Jones Supreme definitely has some interesting shots, but overall, I also didn't enjoy that experience nearly as much as I would any other course. So for me, either they move the event to a different course or they just kind of make it a silver series and becomes a less important endeavor. I ultimately would just like to see some change. But with that said, what do you guys think? I definitely think there's some hot takes in here that you might not agree with, and I'd like to hear what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. Wild Runs, signing out. Peace.